After hundreds of flights, I've narrowed down a list of my all-time favorite flight essentials that help me look and feel my best even after a long flight. In today's video, I'll be running through each item as well as sharing a sneaky flight hack that I can guarantee you will love and use on your next flight. The first travel essential that I bring on every single flight is a travel size bottle of Downy Wrinkle Release Spray. It's great to have for your entire trip since a quick spritz and gentle smoothing out with your hands will leave your clothes looking freshly ironed despite having just been a wrinkled mess in your luggage. I find it especially useful on the plane when I pull out a new shirt to change into just before landing. It's my secret to looking sharp and wrinkle free even after hours in a tight airplane seat. I grabbed this travel size bottle on Amazon and I have no trouble bringing it through TSA airport security in my liquids bag and then straight onto the plane. And this next one is my favorite. Actually, I would say number four is my favorite for looking put together, but this is my favorite for not being a drippy, gross, sweaty mess before the plane even takes off. Here's the thing with planes. You board into what feels like a sauna, and then the temperature drops to freezing cold once you get up in the air. This past summer, I boarded a flight, but the plane was delayed, and we ended up sitting on the runway, not able to get off the plane for over an hour. And get this, the reason for the delay was a broken AC unit. Gotta love Air Canada. Thank God I had this with me. Traveling with a compact, portable fan is not only going to make you more comfortable on the plane, but it's also going to save you from that lingering BO smell as you get off the plane. This one is extra cool since it also has a stand so you can put it on your tray table instead of holding it, and it has a flashlight built into the bottom. It also doubles as a portable power bank so you can use it to charge your phone. Not bad for 25 bucks. Another multi-purpose tool that you'll love for any flight is a moisturizing stick. Dry cabin air and high altitude absolutely suck the moisture out of your skin. I swear after spending a few hours on an airplane, I look and I feel 10 years older because all the skin around my lips and around my eyes is all dry and cracky. Ugh. It's always shocking to me how fast this happens on a plane and having a multi-purpose moisturizing stick is an absolute lifesaver. My favorite is the classic Aquaphor Healing Balm Stick since it's hyperallergenic, fragrance-free, and ridiculously effective. It's also cheap. And a personal favorite flight essential that I think makes the biggest difference to my appearance coming off of flight is going to be dry shampoo. And if you are a man watching this, don't click off just yet. I swear this little miracle in a can is going to make a massive difference to any head of hair. And if you don't have hair, maybe jump ahead like 30 seconds because you'll like the next one. Dry shampoo is a game changer after a long flight because with just a quick spritz at your roots, it's going to soak up any oil, any smells, and leave your hair looking volumized and fresh. I absolutely love this stuff even when I get off the plane. I am using it throughout my trip. You can also purchase dry shampoo powder, but I like the aerosol. I find it to be the most effective, and I can put this travel size bottle in my liquids bag and take it through TSA airport security without any issues. Excuse me for one moment. That's better. Let us know down in the comments what your all-time favorite flight must-have is. We're all drying to know. That was really bad. And a TSA friendly runner up that didn't make it onto my flight essentials list, but might make it onto yours would be eye drops. If you are prone to dry eyes, eye drops can be a game changer in making your flight more comfortable and in helping you look and feel less terrible on landing. Speaking of uncomfortable, you will also want to take your contacts out before takeoff. Trust me. Moving on to the next travel essential, this is going to be the hero of all travel disasters a tied to go stick. If you haven't spilled on yourself on an airplane before, it is just a matter of time until you do. And when that turbulence hits at the absolute wrong moment and you end up with little coffee dribbles all down your shirt, you will be so happy that you took a moment to pack a tied to go stick. And before I share one of my all time favorite flight hacks, it's worth mentioning three pretty interesting airplane essentials that many of you have been recommending to me. 
I haven't actually tried these yet, but they're getting fantastic reviews on Amazon and may become part of my essential flight packing soon. First on the list are the Alpine FlyFit earplugs that promise pressure relief to prevent ear pain on takeoff and landing. I personally just chew gum and that seems to work, but I know that doesn't work for everyone. Next up, we have this nifty airplane tray table cover that acts as a seat back organizer as well as gives you a clean surface to eat and work off of. Frequent flyers know that the seat back tray table is notorious for being one of the dirtiest spots on the airplane, so this will definitely come in handy. And finally, the flight flap phone and tablet holder. It's so simple but seems so useful. Definitely let us know in the comments if you have tried these and what your experience was like. And here is an extremely simple but absolutely game-changing flight hack that's going to bring all of this together by making use of the bathroom door hook and then a strategically timed alarm. Set an alarm on your phone to go off two hours before your flight is expected to land. The reason that you want to set the alarm for two hours before the flight landing is because it's about one and a half hours before landing that the cabin lights go on, people wake up, and all of the flight landing announcements begin. This is also the time that everyone is going to be getting up and going to the washroom. The goal here is to beat the bathroom rush so that you don't have to wait in line and so that there isn't a line waiting outside the bathroom door rushing you. If you have ever been inside of an airplane bathroom, you know that they are rather compact, not very pleasant, and they are designed to get you in and out as quickly as possible with dim lighting and absolutely no counter space. This is where the bathroom hook comes into play. I will pack a hanging toiletry bag and then hook it to the back of the bathroom door. Inside of this bag will be all of the essentials that I mentioned in this video, as well as a few other basic items like toothpaste, a toothbrush, and even these little floss sticks. By hooking this on the bathroom door, I'll have easy access to all of the tools that I need to freshen up before the plane lands. And then by having that alarm set to two hours before the flight lands, I'm usually not rushed in the washroom. And because you beat the rush, the washroom is also going to be cleaner. And I love my hanging toiletry bag, but you honestly don't need to buy one of these if you do not want to. Before I had this, I would just use a plastic bag, dump all of my flight essentials into it, and then hook the handles on the bathroom hook so I had easy access to those items. You do what you gotta do. If you like the hacks in this video, then definitely head to the pinned comment and grab my ebook completely free with my 25 all-time favorite travel hacks for any flight. You'll also want to hit that subscribe button to join us back here for more travel tips and hacks next week. Until then, safe travels and I'll see you soon. Bye.